I was really happy that the secretary was here. We had a good discussion. We were talking about uh, needs Montgomery County has and ways we can cooperate with the state. So I think, you know, she's doing these listening tours, and I think she heard from us. Uh, we got to raise issues around the Court of City Transitway, which is a you know, big deal for Montgomery County. And uh, I feel, you know, she's got a reputation for listening. She's been very active in the business front. And, you know, the governor has put, you know, decent investments into this. And hopefully we can find some opportunities to do things together. What's going to happen with economic development in Montgomery County? Uh, I don't think it's up in the air. I mean, we're trying to find as many opportunities to attract people in Montgomery County as we can. We're bringing a company here next week. We're going to have, uh, I think it's next week, we're going to have a press conference on a company we're bringing back from San Francisco. Uh, we've had a success, which I hopefully also will lead to a press conference on keeping a business here that might have gone over to Virginia. So we're going to continue to you know, look for opportunities both to expand things in Montgomery County so they can take and occupy better space and to be a home to places that are looking for rooms room to expand or rooms to establish themselves and we think we're a good location to do it. I mean everything good about Montgomery County, you know, whether it's the schools, parks, recreation, all this is a, is a major selling point for us and we just need to do a good job of selling it. Well, what about the Economic Development Corporation? What's going to happen with that? Uh, there's still, Petter's uh, position still hasn't been filled, correct? His, his position will be filled pretty soon. I mean, they've done interviews. I don't know who their final choice is, but I know that probably within a couple of weeks, everybody should know what that decision is. And uh, even with not having Petter there, they've been continuing to work on things. So we've partnered with them on a couple of projects. Uh, we are... You know, things don't stop because one person's gone. They've got a whole staff of people who are doing outreach and working in the community, even with, without the head of the organization there.